Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Michael here. And today I want to talk to you about one of the most powerful strategies you can use in long-term investing, whether it's growth investing, value investing, dividend investing, uh, and anything in between. And it's really, really useful. It's a very useful tool, especially in um, making your money work a lot harder than certain other strategies, at least in my opinion, uh, it's the smarter move to make, right? And it is called dollar cost averaging. And if you don't know what dollar cost averaging is, we'll get to that in a minute. But first, guys, listen, as of recording this video, which is Friday, April 17th, I am to 499 subscribers. And tomorrow, which is Saturday, which this video will be released, <laughs> which this video will be released on Sunday, um, I will have make a full this channel has been active, me making videos about finance for a full year, guys. Um, and I just want to say 75 videos later and 500 subscribers later or 499 subs later and over 21,000 views later. I just want to say it's been fun. It's been a interesting ride and I can't wait to see what the next year brings. Thank you guys so much for this past year for everything that I've learned from you and hopefully you have learned a little bit from me, which is the whole reason why I decided to document my journey um, in finances and everything else I decide to do on this channel as far as, you know, financial enlightenment wise. But um, like I said, guys, it's been a year. Thank you guys so much. Listen, if you want to help me get to uh, four, uh, 550 subs by the end of the month, the end of April, remember, go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you already haven't. But if you already have, thank you so much. Anyway, anyway, guys, look, let's get to the information at hand. So I know you're thinking lately, oh no, all my stocks are in the red. What should I do? Should I sell them? Should I keep them? What should I do? I tell you what you should do, what I would do, if my stocks were in the red, I'd analyze them and see if they're worth keeping. The ones that are worth keeping, I would dollar cost average down. That way, my principal investment, my principal price would come down. That way, when the price of said stock rises again, I will be a little bit closer to the, the price rising. And once it, once it hits the original price that I bought it at initially, not the dollar cost average, but real price I bought it initially, I'll have more money in it, more stocks in it, be able to make more money in it, especially when it comes to these dividends we're trying to capture every month, every three months, you know. But I wanna get into the phone real quick and show you why dollar cost averaging is so powerful. Okay guys, so we're here in the phone. We're up uh, close to 4% today. So about 3.6%, uh, let's say, but, so as you can see here, I have two stocks in the green as of today, but I want to show you, uh, I'm going to give you an example of, of a few stocks, why uh, dollar cost averaging is so important to whether you're a new, uh, a new investor or old investor, if you're a smaller investor or a bigger investor, dollar cost averaging is very, very good for any type of uh, strategy is applicable to really any type of investor. Oh, you know. So the first stock I wanna to go to is Iberia Bank, IBKC. So initially I bought my first share in the stock at $71.39. Now, with that being said, see where we at today, $35.97. And I only own 2.34 shares of this. So over the past month, it fell 50%. So I would be out a lot of money and I would be a lot higher. It, it would take a lot longer for me to go in the green if I wouldn't dollar cost average down. So I would be at $71.39 if I wouldn't have dollar cost average down, which I did a little bit on here. So I brought my average cost down to $55.04. So even though I bought one share at let's say $30 or 40 bucks, and once you're at $71, we'll meet somewhere in the middle, which would be roughly $55.04. So now I have to wait for, if I wanted to sell this at an even, break even price, which even if I do break even on uh, the actual 
on the actual return of this stock, I would still be uh, in the green because of the dividends that I captured from it. But I would have to go to $55.04 instead of $71.39 on this stock here. So our next stock I'm gonna give you an example of is O Realty Income. Now, we all know that this was close to, what, $82 about three months ago. So it did fall about 31.81%, 31 okay? But I bought this stock at, my first buy was $70.05. So at $70.05, I would have to, you know, wait about $20 for it to go up. And that is uh, quite a far gap I'd have to breach in order to make my money back from this, uh, let's say minus the dividends. But I dollar cost average down. So I bought one share at 70, what, 70 bucks. Then what I did is I bought a bunch of small shares at a cheaper, at cheaper prices. So let's see here. So I bought a little over half a share at $47.81. And I did this several times to make my 3.47 shares, or four or five shares. Now my dollar cost average is $56.48. So I'm just shy of you know, breaking even and going green, which is why dollar cost averaging is so important, especially whenever you see these dips like this. Guys, because you know earlier in the year, well the past 10 years really, but if you just started investing at the end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020, you would have bought your stocks at probably all time highs or really, really close to all time highs. And you might say, oh no, I bought at highs. I need to sell so I can buy the lows. You don't want to do that because you would be losing money. Okay. Don't do that. Just dollar cost average down. That way you still have your positions and this is a learning experience for everyone. You know, you may have just got into the stock market. You may have been in the stock market for a long time. You may have been an investor for a long time, but don't sell unless you absolutely have to, unless, you know, you have your reasons to, the company's going under or an emergency happens or anything like that. You know, you need to liquidate your funds. That's it. You, sometimes you have to do that. But regardless of that, this is why I say um, dollar cost averaging is so powerful because you may have been at the all time highs three months ago, four months ago, just bought buying in, which in some of these stocks I was. Now I'm closer to their price they are now because a dollar cost average down, which means the gap between my loss and my gain is, is closing, right? Which is, it's fine, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with it, you know, I know my, my risk, I have my risk management. I'm, I'm okay with what's going on. Now, I want to show you one more stock. We're going to go to MJ Alternative Harvest. My first share I bought was $20.48. And as you can see, I did dollar cost average down once it went down. I pretty much was buying every week a little bit of this stock just to dollar cost average down, which I was doing pretty good. But three months ago, we were, you know, 18, 17, $18, $16. Now we had $11 and 60 on 49 cents. Luckily a dollar cost averaged my way to 25 shares to $16 and 61 cents. Otherwise I would be around $18 to $19 a share for this, for this particular stock, for this particular ETF. Now, yes, I still am far ways from the price it is now, the current price it is now, but I'm a lot closer to it and I'm getting it at a much better deal when I'm buying it at the $11 mark and dropping my dollar cost average down. Remember guys, even if you have a opening price, a beginning price, very, very high, you know, you bought in pretty high, the lower you buy that next dip, the and the more you buy in the next dip, the quicker the jump will be for your average cost down. All right, now real quick, I wanna bring you guys over to my whiteboard where I have a little diagram drawn for y'all to show y'all exactly how this works and maybe be able to explain it a little bit better because I know sometimes 
you know, visuals work a lot better for some people. And that's what I'm here to do, help people as much as I can. So let's go over to it right now. Okay guys, sorry if this isn't the best view or the best drawing, but this is the best that I can do here. So what we have is dollar cost averaging. So let's say you buy 100 shares at $100 a piece, okay? That would make your average price $100. Let's say the stock goes down to $50 a share and you buy another 100 shares at $50. That's you buying on the dip. What that's gonna do is that's gonna make your 200 shares you now have, because remember you bought 100 at $100 a piece and $150 a piece, your average cost is gonna be $75 a share. So from you buying on that dip, you went from $100 a share to $75 a share, and you doubled the amount of shares. Now, once that trend comes down, you know, once it bottoms out, and once it comes back up, once you breach your, once you breach your average cost, that's when you're in the green to sell again or to hold whatever your strategy may be. This is, would be like a strategy inside of a strategy. And your original price was $100 per share. So we bought the dip at $50 per share, bringing our average to $75 a share. So guys, I hope this helped y'all out at least a little bit um, with the dollar cost averaging idea. You know, this is what I've been doing. This is what I'm gonna continue to do until I find a better strategy that works for me or I feel like changing it up you know, whatever, because I am prone to switching up my strategies to see what works better for me and kind of meshing some together. But guys, look, if you found value out of this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And guys, again, help us get to 550 by the end of the month, by the end of April. I know we can do it. Again, thank you guys for my one year in YouTube, on YouTube. Made it to 500 subscribers in a year. Thank you guys so much. You guys are constantly blowing my mind with the things y'all are helping me do on this channel. <laughs> Again, look in the description for all the links we have going on. You know, we got some free stuff down there. We got some affiliate links you guys can, can use and sign up for, for free stocks and free money for some of these links. Um, once again, guys, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't to join this family we got going on. If you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. You guys have a great day. Stay quarantined, stay safe, and mask up.